loudmouth Piers Morgan suggested King Charles delays his coronation in swipe at Harry and Meghan Markle. Morgan sarcastically suggested Charles should delay his coronation until Harry and Meg find time to fit in into the shadows as he slammed the, walking, the former walking royals over failing to confirm they will attend. Piers Morgan posted an incendiary tweet directed at Harry and Meghan for not yet deciding whether to attend the coronation of their father, which falls on the same date as Archie's fourth birthday. As fans quiz whether the ex-royals would opt for a birthday party for him in the USA instead of jetting over to Britain to watch Harry's dad being crowned as king at Westminster Abbey, loudmouth Piers Morgan took to Twitter to give his views. He said, if Harry and Meghan still haven't decided if they will be there with their vitally important presence, then Charles must obviously delay that coronation until they can find room in your very, very beautiful schedules, he wrote. Many on Twitter were quick to reply, with one user saying, if Camilla's kids and grandkids are going to be out on that balcony, then the second son of Charles and Diana, damn, well better be too. Meanwhile, another user said, isn't it just, this just so ridiculous? King Charles is Harry's dad. In my view, not attending the coronation is tantamount to saying, I'm not a royal and you are not my father. Another user responded to Pierre's sarcasm in kind, joking Meghan and Haas were probably busy with their worldwide privacy tour. However, another user, Claudia Bolain, defended the couple, telling Pierre's Morgan, Meghan Markle didn't want to be your friend in the first place, so just get over it. The stir comes after royal commentator Rafael Manco, who builds himself as an, as an expert in monarchy protocol, honors and British traditions, urged the pair to stop treating the coronation like a soap opera, he said. Harry and Meghan seem to be confusing the coronation with Coronation Street because this isn't just a soap opera. This is hugely important for everybody involved, constitutionally and ceremonially, not just for Britain or just for the British people but for all of the Commonwealth realms, including Australia. He also blasted a couple for being heroic about the failure to make a timely public comment on whether or not they will be hotly anticipated there. Rather than focusing on what it means to be British and the important role of the coronation in our constitution, we are instead being distracted by this tedious sort of typical title title stories, he concluded. Meanwhile, Pierre revealed this afternoon he has received new hate mail on Twitter but seemed to be taking it in his stride as he took the role to task over his spelling. Meet Sam, he just left a comment on my Instagram informing me that he can't wait for me to die, P.S. began. Sadly, he's so sick or he's so thick he can't spell dumb or casket, which ironically is making me laugh so much it may actually kill me, he explained, adding a few tears in laughter emojis to punctuate his point. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.